got one more thing I'd like to show you about input forms in HTML, and that is the text area. Now, let's go back and revisit our form. The last thing that we had put in was this drop down list. Now, I did do clean it up a little bit by putting this prompt major in, which I didn't even think of when we were writing the code. So let me show you how I did that. It's actually not much of a, of a trick. I just came in and wrote the word major colon before my select. And that's the result. Okay, now let's put in an input box. Let's say that we would like to know when someone's asking for a count, we'd like to know a little bit more about them. So let's come down to the end of our drop down list and let's put in a couple of breaks or line feeds, whatever you want to call them. Okay, just, just to separate it out. And then let's put in a prompt. Tell us. How about please tell us what you wish to accomplish here. And then let's put in a couple more breaks. That will end that line. And then let's have one blank line between our prompt and our text area where our users and viewers will actually type in their response. So, let's put in our text area. And the element is text area. And then we need to store it someplace, so we need a name. And we'll just call this Y. Why? I don't know. Just because. And then let's say our rows Let's give them, say, five rows in which to enter. And columns, whoops, what's that X doing in there? Columns equals 80. And then let's close our text area. Not test with an S area, but text with an X area. Sorry about that. Okay. Believe it or not, that's all there is to it. So, this is all the code we're entering. Let's save it out and see how it works. Okay, we should be saved out. So, let's minimize our, co our source code. And let's refresh. And I'm going to expand the size of this window. Okay, so we've got, let's type in a name, a password, Now, wherever we click, we're going to start typing. So, I'm going to go back to the beginning of that line and say, what I would like to do in my teaching is to create what we used to call Steely Eyed Missile Mat back in the early days of computer engineering. These people, men and women, Love to solve 
the impossible problems. Okay, so, got my comment. Let's go back down and let's test by sending, see what kind of email we would send. And now I'm going to increase my text size so that uh, we have a chance of, well, come on. There we go. Okay, so there's the first name, last name, and so on, just like before. But now, remember, there's our comp psi major, and there's my comment, what I would like to do. So, we've learned quite a bit about forms and HTML. I wonder what's next.